in my personal opinion, the focus of the plan that has come into play to address large-scale non-compliance was to look at users who weren't able to use smartphones to authenticate as the principal um, issue and so to enable um, a different method of authentication um, potentially a, a one-time code or password um, as one of the authentication factors. That is very complex because it means that you have to go through a different registration process and a more complex implementation um, to get it working as opposed to Apple Pay and Google Pay which are very very commonly used and well known and understood. The reason that I don't agree personally with that strategy is twofold. The first reason is that the number of people who don't have a smartphone but do conduct transactions online using their cards is infinitesimally small. So you focus what the strategy has been to focus on a very very small minority at the um, expense of the vast majority. So point one. Um, point two is that in cost terms it would be far cheaper to buy all of those people smartphones and avoid the whole mess of a fundamentally less secure, less obfuscated, um, less ubiquitous and far more complex method of conducting SCA for card payments. SCA for open banking is, I think, quite generally speaking, quite well implemented. Um, and as an organisation that pre-existed PSD2 and CMA order and had to acquire access to data through other methods, principally screen scraping, um, I can see very clearly that the situation um, in terms of data sharing has greatly improved as a result of um, this process. So I personally don't see um, SCA for open banking as an inhibitor, I see it as an enabler. There are challenges um, and I guess the, the principal area of focus is the um, fact that for the most part those authentications are one time only. So an authentication is performed and then the authorization for access to data um, is fairly uh, static and inflexible um, and at a maximum will last 90 days. Um, that is, I think, my, my experience is that that is less of a challenge than was previously thought and I, and I would have been one of the people who pointed to this as being a potentially very significant inhibitor because clearly with the previous situation where you would share your credentials and then the third party with whom you were sharing them would have unfettered access until, until you elected to stop that. Um, that, that in prospect looked like a big thing. I think the reality is that a lot of, certainly a lot of my objection was based on this concept that there would be a very large number of third party services not only in market but also in use and so repeated need for SCA would become an inhibitor to continued adoption of those services by users. Uh, it's very clear that that is not a reality um, and as far as I'm aware um, there is only one service, or maybe two, um, where there is scaled use which requires um, continuous access.